I didn't saw her. That sentence is wrong. Remember that after the helping verbs do, does, and did, kailangan ang gagamitin yung verbs ay nasa base form lang. Ano ba yung base form ng verb? I'll give you some examples. Eat, ate, eaten. Do, did, done. See, saw, seen. Yung eat, do, and see ay nasa base form. Instead of saying, I didn't saw her, it should be, I didn't see her. Ngayon, paano nyo naman itatama ang question na, what did you did? Write your answers in the comment section. He don't like the food. Ay mali. Kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay ang present at ang subject sa ating sentence ay he, she, it, o kaya singular noun, then we should use does, does not, o kaya yung shortened form niya na doesn't. He doesn't like the food. Does it taste awful? The kid doesn't eat vegetables. Yung do, do not, and don't ay pwedeng gamitin sa ibang subjects. Yung you, we, they, at saka plural nouns. They don't like the food. The kids don't eat vegetables. Ngayon, paano mo naman itatama ang sentences na she don't cook for the family? He don't have a job. It don't matter. Write your answers in the comment section. I can be able to speak English. Yan ay mali. Hindi natin pwedeng pagsamahin ang can and be able to sa sentence na yan. It's either you say I can speak English or I am able to speak English be able to. Kailangan ang gagamitin natin ay be verb. Ang mga basic examples ng be verbs ay am, is, are, was, and were. Kung ang can ay pwede natin gamitin to talk about present abilities, ang be able to naman ay pwede natin gamitin to talk about present, past, and future abilities. I am able to speak English. I am not able to speak English. Kapag negative sentence naman, kailangan nyo lang sundan ng not yung be verb. He is able to speak English. I was able to speak English during the tour. They were able to present in English. Pag future naman, gagamitin nyo yung will be. With a little more practice, you will be able to speak English fluently. Ang am, is, at are ay ginagamit kapag ang pinag-uusapan natin ay ang present. Am is always used with I. I am a teacher. Ginagamit ang is sa mga subjects na he, she, it, at singular nouns. She is a good dancer. Do you see that dress? It is gorgeous. The cat is sleeping. Ginagamit naman ang are sa mga subjects na you, we, they, at plural nouns. You are awesome. We are learning English. The cats are sleeping. Ngayon, ang was and were naman ay ginagamit when we talk about the past. Ang was ay ang past form ng am at is. Ang were naman ay ang past form ng are. Ngayon, subukan ninyong buuin ang mga sentences na ito. We blank busy yesterday. I blank so tired last night. Write your answers in the comment section.